Hi everyone, my name is Miguel de Villa and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. And today I'm here to present a quick tip on how to use eDrawings markups inside of SolidWorks PDM so that we have access to a much wider variety of styles and options when annotating our parts and drawings. Now my favorite part about this tip is that it requires no additional configuration at all. It's because eDrawings is already integrated inside of PDM as we've come to know and love it in the eDrawings previews. All we really need to do is make sure that we have the ability and the permission to check out the file that we want to annotate and go ahead and do that. Now with that same file selected we just need to hit view file to open it in eDrawings itself. And once it's open we can use the markups to draw all the shapes we need to call attention to critical areas of our design, add labels to draw attention to certain areas and actions that we need to work on, just like we would normally inside eDrawings. And once we're done annotating our file, all we really need to do is hit save. And this saves it as a markup inside of the file itself. Now, when we open this in SolidWorks, all our markups will appear as normal. It'll appear, and right here on the feature tree, we have the ability to hide and show them and delete them as we continue to work on this design. In addition, now that we've directly added our eDrawings markups to our SolidWorks drawing, when we take a look back at our File Explorer previews, we can see that our eDrawings markups have been reflected in the preview itself. That way we don't even have to open up SOLIDWORKS or eDrawings in order to view our file and any comments that have been added to it. But what if we don't have the ability to check out this file, either because we don't have the permissions associated with that file to check it out, or maybe it's sitting in a read-only state like uh, approved or pending approval. In that case, it may be appropriate to save out our markups as a standalone markup file and load them in manually. So let me go ahead and set that up by deleting my existing markups. Let me save and check in this file. And now it's read only. Now, taking a look back at my vault, even though I don't have it checked out, I can still go ahead and hit view file, like so and it will open it up in eDrawings as normal and I have the ability to do all of my normal markup actions. And once I've completed all of my markups I can just go under File, Save Markup, select which comments I want to include and just save at my comments as an eDrawings markup file or dot markup inside of the vault itself. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that whoever <clears throat> opens this drawing will see that there is a markup associated with it for additional comments. I'm going to go ahead and copy the associated parts and drawings and I'm going to paste it onto the markup file itself as a reference. Let me go ahead and check in my markup. And now when I take a look at the where use tab for that particular drawing or part, I can see the SolidWorks markup or eDrawings markup rather associated with that drawing. And now 
let me go ahead and check out this drawing and open it in SolidWorks once more, I can manually insert the eDrawings markup file under insert, eDrawings markup, and I just need to browse to that location in my vault, to that particular eDrawings file. And it appears manually on my drawing. And from here, I can continue working and integrating these comments into my design. And that concludes my quick tip on how to use eDrawings markups inside of PDM. This is Miguel de Villa here with Go Engineer. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.